many productions will utilize different drum instruments on different tracks for different sounds. Maybe one instrument for kick, a different one for snare, one for hi-hat, percussion, etc. And usually when we do this, we have to spread those different instruments on different tracks. Let's take a listen to an example. So let's say I want my kick drum, in this case coming from backbone. I wanted a snare to come from a particular groove agent kit. I wanted my hi-hats to come from a different groove agent kit. And let's say percussion, I want it to come from the percussion agent that's available in the full version of groove agent. And maybe some orchestral percussion coming from Howling and Sonic 7 from the Iconica library. So if I wanted to consolidate these into a single track as opposed to having to deal with each sound on different tracks, we could do this using the drum maps on a MIDI track. So I'm going to add a MIDI track, just not an instrument track, but a MIDI track. And we'll see this area in the top inspector column where we see no drum map. So what we want to do is to click there and go to drum map setup, go to functions, we will do a new map. And we'll just call this a multi. We will have a default MIDI output routing area and we'll show how to override that later. But one thing that's important is most of these have probably been added on MIDI channel one. The default drum maps as we create it will be on channel 10. So if we hold down, click in the channel column, and hold down control or command and then click on the MIDI channel that will reassign the correct MIDI channel to all of the different sounds in the drum map. We want to now select our newly created, our multi drum map that we just created as our drum map. We will double click and we'll just come over here. I'm gonna check my insert velocity and we'll look at velocity here. So let's go ahead and see this little line that has four dots in the center. This is kind of a dividing line. If we extend this over to the right, we could see that each of the different sounds can have different input and output notes. So if we wanted to remap those particular notes, we could also see that we could have individual MIDI channels and individual MIDI ports. So when I click on the output port, we could actually see all of our different instruments and the names that we see in the ports are actually derived from the track names that we entered. So you can see Backbone, I have Groove Agent Snare, Groove Agent 2 Hi-Hat, Percussion, and the Hallian uh, Orchestral. So let's go ahead and just program a quick beat here just so we could uh, show this so let's say i'm going to turn on my click track by hitting the letter c so i want my kick drum to come from backbone so I'll click and we're going to choose c1 to output to backbone so let's say e1 and f1 i want to go out to my groove agent snare kit so let's say we'll put this on beats two and four. So I'm going to copy these to the snare. So I'll select the first one, hold down the shift and double click. I will move it to my snare column, hold down the alt or option key. And now those two sounds are layered. Let's say our F sharp one, and if we wanted to type in a name, we'll just come here, type in hi-hat. At this point, I wanted to put my hi-hat out to my Groove Agent hi-hat kit. And I'm just going to put in some different rhythmic values. So let's say I want to do 16th notes, maybe adjust. Let's put in maybe a 16th note triplet. And let's put a little 32nd note run at the end on a hi-hat. And 
and let's add some uh, well, some percussion. So I think our percussion will be on like A2, G2, and F2. So I'm gonna set this to my percussion agent. So we will choose a different rhythmic value here. So let's put in eighth note triplets. Now, if I wanted to switch this to a different sound, I could go to my O note and just say, okay, I want this to be A sharp one. And I could audition different sounds. Turn that off. Let's come over here. Let's put in some other percussion sounds. And let's adjust some velocities. And let's add some of the orchestral percussion, which I think will be on um, B1, A1, and G1. So let's set these to our Halion Sonic. So again, all of these different sounds are now being mapped to these five different outputs, again, from one single track. Now, even though we have everything in one single track, if we wanted to render these to individual tracks, since they're all being sent to different outputs in our mix console, what we could do now is just come over and go to your edit and we'll go to render in place. We'll go to our render settings and we'll just choose channel settings. And at this point we will render and each of the tracks will just have be rendered independently so our percussion, timpani, the backbone, percussion, hi-hats. So we could see that instead of having to worry about five different tracks, that we could have one particular track that could output to multiple sources. So if you found this video helpful, please feel free to hit the like button and to subscribe to the channel.